Over the past decade, online classes have been growing as a form of education. Online courses provide accessibility, freedom, and repeatability for anyone who can view content. And yet, many still find online education lacking a human touch. As internet came about and became more and more ubiquitous, what people thought was, if we can make delivery of educational content inexpensive, that they can actually teach a lot of kids. And that's when online video courses came about. And what we realized is that it is actually more effective for only self-motivated adults. For real learning to happen, things have to go beyond just uh, making content delivery easy. And that's when this new wave of live online classes are coming up, which actually combines the benefit of teacher-led instruction with the power and convenience of online classrooms. And you can see that in the student outcomes. COVID actually changed the game where now that has become more and more mainstream. Technology and as a result, coding has actually become more and more closer to an essential skill for kids. That's why more and more parents started wanting their kids to learn computer programming, just like how I wanted my daughter to learn computer programming. And more that, that created a market for individuals and companies like us wanting to offer that to kids so they can prepare them for the digital future. I thought that online education was a little weird. I thought it was hard to learn. It just wasn't what I was used to. I had done robotics before and I thought coding was kind of related to it and I thought it would be a cool thing to do. After I joined it, I found that you actually could learn and build relationships online. Without human connection, active participation, and direct feedback, the move to online classes has been a particularly challenging hurdle for grade school students. However, for emerging learners seeking opportunities in traditionally closed off spaces, live online learning is helping to bridge the gap. I thought it would be hard. It actually turned out to be quite easy. I think definitely with COVID happening and the switch from in classroom to online learning definitely helped. Um, he had done a few robotics classes that were more in classroom before and once the pandemic hit and he wasn't able to do athletics or anything in the classroom at that point, I was searching for, okay, well, I want to sustain this, um, his knowledge in coding and that's how I found Code Wizards. And he's really excelled. He does great, he participates in class and it's been great to watch him flourish. One of the big things, you know, we're now having a lot a lot of internet efficiency. Uh, you would see the computers being more accessible to students and children, whereas in the past, you know, it's rare that a house had one computer per household, and now children in a household that now have tablets and computers and just different ways of accessing things online. Uh, the other thing with technology on the rise is, you know, these internet uh, latency issues that used to be a big thing, which are now a thing of the past. And because of these reasons, it's, it's made online learning a lot more accessible to everyone and including students. With more services going online and the usefulness of online platforms growing every day, coding is one of the most important skills young minds can learn. And with Code Wizards HQ, kids and teens can learn programming skills in a fun and functional way. So with Code Wizards, I really enjoy the platform. Um, as a parent, they have a parent portal where you can log in and you can look at your child's progress. They help you and there's quizzes so you can like test your knowledge about certain topics. On the website, Code Wizards offers a section where they put the, the lesson plan in the PowerPoint form. So if we're unable to attend the actual homework help sessions that they have, the live sessions, you can always access those, uh, those documents. I really like the capstone projects. They involve something that's really cool, like multiplayer or virtual reality. I did a virtual reality escape room. I relied on Ivan, my instructor, a lot. He's very patient and he cracks a lot of jokes. At Code Wizards HQ, Exceptional teachers know that instilling problem solving and critical thinking skills at an early age can help students in any field they want to pursue in the future. Coding Live can be active, fun, and prepare your child for the future. Students have that form of relationship with that teacher 
and it helps better the learning experience for them as well. We also provide other areas of support for students outside of the classroom. So we have things like, you know, homework help, which is basically like a small study group session where students can pop in at any time, seven days a week, and get that support from different instructors. Office hours, which is more one-on-one -on -one help with a teacher. So if they want more direct help, they can definitely seek out help that way as well. They have uh, community help. So we have a community for students where they can actually pop in. They can ask questions, they can communicate with one another and kind of help debug some coding issues that they might have on their projects. And of course they have our messaging tool where they can actually message uh, an instructor through our platform one-on-one -on -one and ask a direct question and we can get back to them. It is actually creating exciting advancements in every field, biology, linguistics, art, math. Every field is seeing incredible advances with the application of computational thinking. So those who have built their computational thinking and who knows how to apply that computational thinking in any of their field will thrive in this digital world. To learn more, contact us today.